Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how I learned how to caulk a tub like a pro. Stay tuned. I live in a 1936 Tudor Revival style home. Uh, with a character home comes things like these awesome colors that you'd see in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, um, but it's super great quality and it's porcelain, so we do what we can to maintain the good quality products in our house. Uh, recently, I purchased a new shower head, not in this frame, and we had to redo some of the plumbing behind here, and they put in a new faucet going into the tub, and that just created a lot of dirt, and I thought, well, it's time to clean the tub, but it's been a couple years, so I should probably update the caulk. I like to do redo the caulk in a tub every three to four years. Uh, you know, over time, you just get that soap scum on there, and it starts to look uh, brown or, you know, just discolored from the white that you probably have. And it, that means it's, it's time to get something new. Odds are it's probably getting a little bit hard and crusty too. So uh, in order to do this, there are six tools that I'm going to be using. They are as follows. First, I'm going to be using this Tech Life Pro Heat Gun. It's a gift I got for Christmas. I actually did a review on that if you want to see a little bit in greater detail. This is going to help soften up the caulk. You don't need to use this. You can give it a lot of elbow grease, but this will really... Um, add a lot of ease to the process because for me the hardest part about this whole entire thing has always been the headache I get from removing the caulk so looking forward to using that. The second thing I have is a scraper. This happens to be a six-in-one tool. It's got a nice flat sharp-ish edge and corner here that will help me get into the nooks and crannies once this has been warmed up and peel it away because you need a nice clean surface. Third, of course, is the caulk. I'm using a siliconized caulk. Um, silicone is great to use because uh, essentially it's, it's made to repel water and mildew, so that's what we want in a high moisture environment. My caulk gun, if you've never used one of these, they're a lot of fun. You just turn the ridges to the bottom, squeeze it like that, and it gets going, and it even has a nice little cutter right here to open up uh, the top of the caulk. So, good tool, easy to use. Painter's tape so I can have a nice smooth line. And lastly, this plastic spoon from my dessert yesterday that I'm going to smooth everything to get a nice uh, concave finish to the caulk. So I begin by taking my heat gun to the caulk, nice and slowly. This is a real time here. Um, if you let it sit in one spot for too long, the caulk will start to bubble after, you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds, and that's fine. It's not going to do any damage to the surrounding tile. In fact, I let one spot in the middle there bubble and I was able to prick it with the corner of the multi-tool and that was a good space for me to start. Once I got going, the, uh, the multi-tool has an edge that's tapered. So you put the tapered edge towards the top and the sharp edge against the wall or the surface that you're scraping. And I actually used my knees a little bit to get behind it and uh, gave it some elbow grease. This is always the worst part, in my opinion, when you're doing a tub is getting rid of the old caulk. Um, but I have to say the heat made it nice and easy. Um, you don't have any dry parts that are just impossible to get out. It was nice. That didn't really take too long, and now I've got a nice bit of mess there. We just throw it out because it's gross, and I made sure to spend the time scraping off every little bit of caulk that was there. Once those had been scraped off, I took some isopropyl alcohol, sprayed it, and then made sure it was nice and dry and I had a good surface for the new caulk to adhere to. The next step is to take the painter's tape and tape off the area that you don't want to get caulk on. Um, this is about a little less than a quarter of an inch um, on either side, so um, from the wall and from the tub. You can of course make this more narrow or more thick based off of what you're interested in, but that's the thickness of the bead that I was going for.
And in case you ever wondered what it looks like to see a six foot five guy inside of a standard bathtub, this is what it looks like. Although it was pretty fun to see those nice crisp tape lines all around the tub. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a minute now, I actually um, I hit stop instead of start on my camera. So you only see me leaving after I've done the actual caulking, but take this shot right here and just imagine me squeezing the trigger of a gun and putting in a bead of caulk and then taking the spoon and rubbing it smooth. Yeah, this is the shot. I thought I was starting, but I had just, or stopping, but I had just started. Oh well, that's what it looks like after the fact. You put a nice thick bead on and you just take the spoon to it. You see there's a lot of um, stuff here that goes over onto the tape. That's why you have the tape there. And this would actually be a, a good opportunity to say um, you might want to wear latex gloves. I didn't talk about them at first, but this stuff starts setting the moment that it makes contact with the air. So you have to take the tape off pretty quickly. And while you're doing the caulking and the um, spoon finishing if you get it on your hands it's difficult to clean up obviously you can't just wash your hands with water because if you could wash it away with water it wouldn't really be a good uh, tub sealant you know so use some gloves and then take the tape off right away and you'll be left with just this beautiful crisp finish And just like that, we're done. All in all for me tonight, this took about two hours. That included all the filming and setup, the heat gun, the um, peeling away the old caulk, taping, cleaning, reverse order, and actual caulk and removing the tape. Um, my wife also came home from work, so I greeted her and I played with the dogs. So you can realistically get this taken care of depending on the size of your bathtub in under two hours. So this is a great weekend project and you're gonna have these really nice lasting results, looking clean, feeling good, uh, and this will last you for two, three, four years depending on what kind of silicone you got, etc. So have you had to do a tub before or have you been holding off on it because you just don't know what to do? Let us know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your tips and tricks. I know there are plenty of other options out there for people that don't have a heat gun, so I'd love to hear what you've done. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and check out my other companion videos and the heat gun and other things. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye.